I'm David Chadwick, and this is News Talk 1110 WBT. Welcome back to the program. But something that's dear to my heart, and that is helping people get control of God's money so that, A, they'll live in peace and not so much fear, then also have money free to go help the causes of the Lord not only locally but worldwide. And we, we see, for example, in Charlotte, the numbers of agencies that are just hurting and the poor suffering and the needy that are out there. And so often we who have faith have to go to the God of debt and say, hey, may I give your money, God, to these people who really need it. Oh, sorry, God of debt, you say I can't. And you're trying to help people answer only to the Lord God of hosts and not the God of debt. Carrie and Jeff, let's talk for a second about the stimulus package. Um, you know, that's out there. We, we're having billions upon billions of dollars placed into it, and it seems like on the macro level it's almost overwhelming. I think your answer might be, as you look at the stimulus package, we, we've got to look at the local <laughs> stimulus package, our own personal pocketbooks, before we can be concerned about the national stimulus package. But, Jeff, talk about that for a second. What's your feeling about Congress and billions of dollars and all that business? Yeah, that's uh, for our economy. Um, what we really do don't understand as a nation is just how far in debt we truly are. Mm -hmm. When you look at these numbers, they're trillions of dollars. And then we look at these billions of dollars of, of a stimulus package and we think to ourselves, well, wait a minute, you know, for the last nine years, we've had in most of the home markets, including Charlotte, we've had times where we had 12 we went from 12% equity gains per 12 month period to 21 and 23% equity gains and we did this year after year after year so the expectation was it's going to continue at infinitum oh yeah yes. absolutely mm-hmm. and most of us have have fallen into that belief those of us who just became uh, financially able over the last 8 years to get our family into a home and then we've made some equity and sold that home put more money down on the next home and we keep moving up and we keep seeing that this is continuing Mm -hmm. we know that there was a facade of supply versus demand we knew that there was so much money in the market to be made on flipping flipping loans not just flipping homes but the banks flipping loans Mm. one to another to another and making money at every turn that they really got to the point where it didn't matter who signed on the bottom line for that home so they started loosening their guidelines down to the point where you could get a no doc loan no reserves in the bank just sign here for it because they're going to flip that loan three times we don't know that as the general public but that's what's going in on in the back and it was on their desire to make a lot of money immediate gratification, Mm -hmm. get what they can while they can. And sticking the responsibility ultimately with the homeowner, Mm -hmm. never the ultimate responsibility being with the bank. So finally what's happened is the cows have come home. That's right. To use rancher terminology. The chickens have come home to roost. Exactly. Mm -hmm. (laughs) And and so as we see this, we got to say, well, you know, what is the real value of a home? What is the real cost of something when all of a sudden now the banks can't flip these mortgages? We'll never have a system built like that again. We'll never go through this high of a raise and gain. So how, when are we going to finally settle back down to where prices are affordable? We're looking for a new normal, as one of my friends calls it right now. That's, yes. that's right. You know, we had one in 10 households that, that went delinquent in their mortgage in 2008. We actually had one in 416 households served with foreclosure notices in 2008. That was before we actually had this huge jump now in the end of 08 and into 09 of all these job losses. Mm -hmm. You know, if we're carrying debt, if we're carrying these monthly payments and we're losing our jobs, in order for us to make it to our destination, we need to lighten the load. Mm. And really, none of us have a light load now. Because our escalator, which was the banking systems, has now stopped. So it's up to us to, to, to not count on that escalator starting up again, but knowing that we can just take a couple steps and get off of the escalator. So what I'm hearing is we hope and pray the stimulus package works. None of us are economists enough it's going to happen. I don't even know if the Congress people themselves know if it's going to happen. But personally, we've got to do our own personal stimulus plans and that's what you guys are in the business to help people do get control of the money so that they can use god's money in the right way and carry real quickly i know listeners are going how do i get in touch with these guys i'm in a serious financial strait what do i do how did they get hold of you workshop financial workshop where we'll show people these tools these financial solutions when will that, that work and that will be on february 21st at our church and what we'll church is let that? people know on uh, what's happening on wbt as well what church and please? that is living waters 
church. Okay. Can they go to your website and get that information? I'm sure. We're going to put that on there, and they can also go to What's Happening on the uh, WBT website and find us there as well. Well, the, the beauty is you guys are willing to meet personally with people. They can come to yeah. your workshops, but you really are willing to sit down with people wherever they may want to meet and go over with them their personal Mm -hmm. stimulus plan, if you will, to find ways to get free from this debt problem. Yeah, Yeah. we also want to show people how debt and mortgage acceleration works. It's kind of been a buzzword that's been out there in the industry, and some people have debunked it, and some people really love it. And so we really want to show people in a type of a class or a seminar fashion where it came from, what are the principles behind it, and how how does it work? What is the matrix of this? And so that they can understand it now and say, oh, I see how that works. I see now what I have to do in order to make it work for me. Mm -hmm. And so what we want to do is share that, um, the real how it works. Well, the bottom line, mm -hmm. Carrie, Jeff, it sounds like that the only way people are going to really know how this works, we've Mm -hmm. tried to tell some today in this very brief program Mm -hmm. how it works, but the best way to find out in depth is to sit down and talk with you guys or go to one of your financial workshops. Then they can see more in depth how it really does work Mm -hmm. and why it's different and why it's winning these awards and why it's helping so many folks. Yeah, yes. we, we want to set people free and we really want to affect each and every household, really one family at a time, bring the hope, bring the liquidity back into their lives because it's theirs and they have an opportunity right now to do with just the paycheck they earned today so much more. One simple banking habit change can add up to a huge significant difference for them Mm. if since we know the truth and our clients are calling us every day and saying thank you jeff and carrie thank you so much this is what's changed in our lives we've paid down this much principal we've saved this much interest we're now able to hire a new employee over to our company we're able to send our child back to private christian private school Mm -hmm. you know we're getting healed in this area realistically those are things that just happen to us on a daily basis have happened to our clients and now that we know the truth our passion is sharing the truth we have to share with them that hey You've had interest working against you. Let's show you how to make interest work for you. And bottom line, Jesus said the truth will set you free, and and you want people to have that freedom. We only got about 40 seconds left. Carrie, one more time, plug your ministry, how they can get a hold of you, your business, because this is a ministry and a business to help people get financially free. Yes, it is. Again, Jeff and Carrie, I appreciate you guys so much. We'll have you back on later to give some more principles. And listen, listeners. You bless us more than we can bless you. Oh, we appreciate that. Thank you. And everybody loves Love God, love your neighbor. You do those two things. You have a lifetime's worth of work to do. Again, I'm David Chadwick. This is News Talk 1110 WBT. I'll talk with you all next week.